Englishman's Bay is rated number two. On the leeward coast of Northside Road, raising the bar for beach bliss, this off the beaten track bay is set in a crescent shape against an emerald green forested backdrop, framed by deep aquamarine waters that are perfect for swimming and snorkeling. The beauty of this place is that there's a little more to do than spread your towel on the palm fringe sand, doze off into the sound of wild parrots, explore marine life on the rocky headland, and enjoy freshly cooked fish dishes at Beulah's restaurant. Best of all, the beach is always near secluded making it one of the most magical spots in Tobago for those seeking peace and quiet away from the masses. Sound like the place to go. <laughs> and Pigeon Point is number one. No doubt. Hey Pigeon Point. Hey Pigeon Point. They were not getting these comfortable. So yeah. the two, we're trying to figure out what to do. More than likely, she reading not about all them beaches, beaches <laughs> and we head into um, Pigeon Point. Point. Terrell's Bay. Ooh, that's far away. It's on the other side of the island. Appealing to those who like their beach backdrops a bit more rough and rugged than Nah, no thanks. <laughs> yeah, I don't like mountains and bay. A beach of two halves that forms a double horseshoe. Oh, okay. 800 meter long sandy stretch backed by a thicket of sea grape and palm trees ticks the paradise box for sun seekers but it's just as fabulous as sporty types too with a great treasure of surfing, water skiing, wakeboarding, kite surfing, snorkeling Descent to the unspoiled olden sands yeah. What bay is that? This is Pirates Bay in Charlottesville And that's where the film Robinson Crusoe? In 1952 Characterized by sweeping white sands backed by Calm as you like turquoise Caribbean waters, this mile long beach is protected by Boku Reef, the largest reef in Tobago. So maybe Englishman's Bay Castara could be one. <clears throat> beach life for tanners and bodyboarders doesn't get much better than this. This is where? In Castara Bay. So if you're a tanner or a beach border, it doesn't get much better than this. Long white white sand hotspot framed by gentle Caribbean waters. Days can be spent helping local fishermen pulling their nets, wandering up to Little Bay for reef snorkeling, buying barbecue fish, grills for dinner, and chatting to the local friendlies. Castara? Castara. Sound like a good place to go. Yeah. Stop tickling me. Alright, so what's the plan this morning? You want to check my itinerary or just check your itinerary of the right. top of your head? No, yeah, oh. you have itinerary. I, yeah, we need Don't it. make joke. So we in Tobago. This is day two. Uh, Ellie's still sleeping. Can make breakfast. Some hash browns and bacon going on. And we hope to kind of take it easy today. Let the kids kind of run the show to some extent. Well, the girls are Kim. The girls being Kim. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. So, what's so the plan? breakfast in room, then we go to Pigeon Point. Um, oh, we headed to Pigeon Point? Yeah. Stop right, leave the rest as surprises. Oh, okay. All but right. have any like real special what? surprise that we should stick around for? Just say yes or no. Oh, it's kind of boring around the middle of things. That... Well, we like the spontaneous vibes, so there's always something to look out for. Like this one, kind of my clothes. Hey, <laughs> stop taking my walk here. <laughs> Ready or not? Oh, she's hiding. Here I come. When bum, you bum, find bum, bum. Is she under this bed? Where is Anna? Where is Anna? Hello, Anna. I'm going for a walk to Chuck E. Cheese. See you later. Bye. Ah, I tricked you and I found you. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready to go? <laughs> Hello, Daddy. Hello. Daddy. Is this your hotel?
<laughs> so what do you have inside your house? Um, I, um, you'll see. If you want to come inside, you can come. Come on. It's fun. Are you going to give me a tour? Okay. So this is our kitchen. This is our stove. That's our bread hotter. Fun thing. Oh, and okay, wow. come and here's our, here's our, our school desk. Mm -hmm. And our cupboards down below. And in here's a leaf. Wait, play the clear now, buddy. Yeah, look how long it is. That way is, I think, the old Storby Road. We're heading towards. Um, Pigeon Point, you going? Pigeon Point. Pigeon Point, we going? Yeah. This trip after Kokori Pharrell developed, right? Was that Haley? Just now, we'll stop and put it down here. When I, the first time I went to Pigeon Point, right? I was in standard five. I don't know how mommy and them let me go on this trip. But what, after, this thing is after common entrance, uh -huh. the school organized and boys are playing load. A standard five children, some parents went around, but you know, mommy and daddy didn't go. And we went to Pigeon Point. Like so a talking day about when, back boy, we day. it had a maxi rent, two, two, three maxis rent we, for the day. Sorry, the day, that's okay. the question. We went by some tomb with some unknown soul there. I, I don't know if it's unknown soul there, <laughs> but some tomb on the unknown or something. We come to Pigeon Point. I remember we came to Pigeon Point very early in the morning, and there was this little tractor, and the man something was pulling something. Good. Well, like grilled food at. I don't know, but it's so good. <laughs> you're not in Makanga, I guess I'm in No, no, but this is Waxta. I read about Waxta. Yeah. And Tobago vibes. Fish bread. Sorry to cut your story, but I smell food. Yeah, <laughs> Go food ahead. is king, eh? <laughs> what is what time? Pizza, anyway. Uh, look like red mango and. Oh boy, yeah. Sugar cake. Very ball. So, anyway, along, along the way to um, Pigeon Point. Oh yeah. Hey, like what's in Duke you now? <laughs> uh, we stop here, yes. So this man they decide like shells and what's not here. Yeah, we buy are you still fast now what's? So a man a man a man asked me to if I want to buy a Kong's shell, right? Uh -huh. like, yeah. So I see how much for it says <laughs> seventy five dollars. You know, $75 Do you bring my goggles? Yes, yes. Yeah, how much? How much? I'll say how much. Only $3 on my boy. Yeah, but I will give me the $3. For some of these. I'll never know where that price in inflation come from. She want to stay here. Yeah, because there's here. no way. The don't this, worry, this Pigeon Boy has no way. Is this one of or something? Yeah, these swallows. Looks really good. We'll come back. Yeah, I think these are the trees you can't touch. <laughs> Do not, yeah. What's Mansion Neil? Mansion Neil? I don't know. Yeah. Maybe deadly if ingested. Mansion Neil tree, yeah. This is what Stacy touched. Stacy? Your memories? <laughs> we, you, you can imagine people who, when the first men land on this beach and they're hungry and they keep on living down tree leaf years. Highly toxic. <laughs> oh, yeah. um, there will be sand. Sand at the beach? Yeah, but remember, you don't carry sand to the beach. What street are we on right now? Do you know? Yeah. The street that takes you to Pigeon Point. Pigeon Point, right? That's all you know. <laughs> Calypso Reef. A, a fake 
feel like I'm not seeing enough crab and dumpling. Is it crab and dumpling like the official food of Tobago? You need to do this? Ticket boot. Okay, so $20 for adults. Oh, five years and under free. So Haley, you are five years and under. You'll be six in December. We can get through. <laughs> Anna. Anna is five years on under. She's three years. With all the coconut trees. Morning. Morning, sir. So we just leave in Sandy Point. Wait, wait, is Pigeon Point? It's Pigeon Point. We just leave in um, Pigeon Point here. But I, I didn't um, take the camera, so unfortunately, I don't have any footage to show you. I, I really wanted to focus on spending time with the children, swimming with them, versus, you know, when you're vlogging and you bring a camera and you're, you're with family, sometimes it could be, for me at least, eh, it could be a little bit distracting. So uh, we got to catch up on Pigeon Point next time. <laughs> 